Hi, I'm Tracy from the Allen Sewing Cat. I'm just going to show you how to put on the strap for our three-way bag that we've got. So you'll have completed your bag um, with your what we call D rings on here. So we've got two metal rings at the top and two at the bottom. Okay, these aren't the adjusters, these are just the regular rings. And then you've got your long strap in piece and your two adjusters that are like this with the bars in the middle. So to add the strap, first we're going to add on one of the adjusters. So we're going to slide it up and back through like that and then that can slide up and down and that will move when you're using your bag then i'm going to attach that to the bottom so we put it through the bottom ring like that and then we're going to thread it through the back of the adjuster as we normally do so through that bar so we're going to pop it through one side of the bar and then back down the other side of the bar like that. I'm just going to make that a bit longer so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so it's gone through the back and back out and then we're going to attach that back onto there. So it goes like a spiral around and then it attaches back onto the strap like that. So fold the wool edges under, put it there and just put a pin to hold it and that will be stitched at the end. So that's one side on and then you can just check you've got it right by making sure that that will then slide and adjust like that. Okay. So that's one side done. Then we're going to put thread the whole thing through this adjuster here. So it's a long strap because this bag can be worn three different ways. So I'm going to pull that one through. Then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side, but this time we need to put it through this D ring here at the top. Make sure that the strap doesn't get twisted when it's like when you do this. Once it's threaded through. Then we can put the adjuster on just like we did on the other side like that so through there slide that one up back through the other ring like that and again through the bar at the back so we're going to spiral in round like this again so through one side of the bar and then back up the other side of the bar and because it spirals it means it's going to get attached back to itself here I'm going to pin that one in place and just show you again. So what that means is that we've come through here, around and around and back here. It's going to be stitched and then we can slide that one all the way up. So if we make these two long here, that one, and the other side here, like that, then you've got your regular shoulder bag. Okay, if you want to wear it as a rucksack, then you're simply going to pull it. You can do the zip up, you can simply pull it here and wear it like so on your back. Okay, you can also adjust these on the side so you've got it to go on one on over one shoulder, which gives us our first look that we just mentioned, like that. Or you can release those a little bit down and then the strap will become longer and then you can wear it as a cross the body bag. So, or you can do what I just did then, which was to wear it as a rucksack. So you've actually got three ways to wear this bag. Um, so all we need to do now is just to stitch that in place where we've pinned. So to hide that raw edge that we've got in here, we're going to do two lines of stitching, one here and one here. Just to hold that in place and then your bag will be complete. I hope you love your bag. Happy sewing, everybody.